Welcome back to our channel, gamers. Today, we're talking about the latest update for Call of Duty Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2. Season 3 started a few days ago, and as expected, it brought tons of new content to the game. Unfortunately, with the new content came a few issues and bugs that impacted players' experience. But don't worry, the developers have been hard at work, and they've just released a new update to fix some of these issues. First off, let's talk about the stability improvements. The developers have fixed several known crashes, which should make the game more stable for everyone. Additionally, they've improved the usability of the controller stick rotation in the weapon preview feature by preventing the weapon from sliding back and forth. They've also fixed an issue where the killcam wouldn't trigger properly and another issue where players were being kicked back to the main menu after a second attempt to enter the battle pass. Next, let's talk about the battle royale adjustments. The developers have improved the buy station interface for players using a controller to start on gear selection, and they've fixed an issue causing rewards for the hold the line mission to not be rewarded to players after completion. They've also fixed an issue causing players to have spawn protection incorrectly applied after a gulag match, and another issue causing players to spawn in a battle royale lobby with a default loadout instead of their favorited loadout. Moving on to DMZ, the developers have added a one minute countdown on DMZ match start before the player can use the UAV killstreak. They've also added a message in DMZ active duty operator slots explaining that the last operator cannot be dismissed. They fixed an issue where the enforcer raid reward was not properly equipped in DMZ, and another issue where the double cross mission in DMZ would incorrectly require a specific dead drop location. They've also fixed an issue where players using a controller were unable to pick up an enemy's backpack after eliminating them and another issue that could duplicate weapons after dropping and stowing inventory interactions in DMZ. Now, let's talk about the global bug fixes. The developers have fixed an issue where despite having dismemberment and gore effects turned off, enemies still exploded while using the Singularity Blueprint. They've also fixed an issue where CDL weapon stickers would not show on weapons in game or in gunsmith, and another issue where you could trigger the search in the invite player's pop-up when you shouldn't. They fixed an issue in the events tab where the price of a reward appeared in red even though you had enough trophies to redeem it, and another issue where some rewards in the level progression screen didn't have descriptions. They've also fixed an issue where the player could be kicked to the main menu. After scrolling through the most recent players section of the social screen and another issue where players wouldn't see rain on Peleo's lighthouse after infilling on the Kordak team. Finally, as a reminder, one of the best weapons in the game has been nerfed, so players should consider picking a new weapon before going to DMZ and testing these new fixes and improvements. That's all for today's video, gamers. Let us know in the comments if you've encountered any of these issues and if the new update has improved your experience in Call of Duty, Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming news and updates.